In the veiled shadows of history, where myths entwine with facts, the 10th century BC stands as an enigmatic epic, a time when mighty rulers etched their indelible marks upon the tapestry of time. It was an era where empires rose and fell to the rhythm of war drums, where grand temples reached towards the heavens, and where the whispers of gods and men alike shaped the destinies of nations. In the heart of this mystical age, five rulers from Assyria, Babylon, Israel, Elam, and Egypt emerged, each a titan in their realm, wielding power that would echo through the corridors of history and leave a legacy that transcends the mere sands of time. King number one, Tiglath-Pileser II of Assyria, 967-935 BC. In the annals of the ancient world, Tiglath-Pileser II emerged as the ruler of Assyria, at a time when the empire was a simmering cauldron of potential and challenge. Ascending the throne in 967 BC, he embarked on a reign characterized by consolidation and preparation, setting the stage for Assyria's later glory. Tiglath-Pileser II's rule focused on strengthening the foundations of the empire. He fortified cities, restructured the military, and revitalized Assyrian administration. These measures were essential in stabilizing the kingdom, which had experienced periods of turmoil and decline. His legacy, though overshadowed by the conquests of his successors, lies in these crucial reforms that prepared Assyria for its future as a dominant force in the ancient Near East. Tiglath-Pileser II's reign is a testament to the power of steady governance and the significance of laying a strong groundwork for the prosperity of a nation. King number two, Ninurta Kuduri Usur II of Babylon, see 10th century BC, in the land of Babylon, where the hanging gardens would one day astound the world. Ninurta Kuduri Usur II rose to power in a time enveloped in obscurity. His reign falls into a period when the grandeur of Babylon was dimmed, a time often overlooked in the shadow of its more illustrious eras. Ninurta Kuduri Usur II, a ruler about whom history whispers faintly, governed during a phase of relative decline. Babylon, once a beacon of Mesopotamian might and culture, found itself grappling with internal challenges and the pressures exerted by more dominant neighboring powers like Assyria. Despite the paucity of detailed records, his reign symbolizes a period of resilience. It was a time when Babylonian culture and identity, though under strain, continued to simmer beneath the surface, preserving the legacy and traditions that would later fuel the city's resurgence. In the tapestry of history, Ninurta Kuduri Usur II's rule serves as a quiet interlude, a chapter of perseverance amidst the ebb and flow of ancient Mesopotamian civilization. King number three, Solomon of Israel, c. 970, 931 BC. In the ancient land of Israel, Solomon ascended as a ruler of wisdom and splendor. The son of David, Solomon's reign was a golden age for Israel, an era of prosperity, cultural flowering, and architectural grandeur. Solomon's most enduring legacy is the construction of the first temple in Jerusalem, a monumental project that not only served as a religious center, but also symbolized the United Israelite Kingdom's zenith. His diplomatic skills were exemplified through alliances and marriages with neighboring states, notably Egypt and Phoenicia, which brought peace and economic prosperity. However, Solomon's reign wasn't without its challenges. His extensive building projects, though magnificent, strained the kingdom's resources and workforce, leading to discontent. Furthermore, his later years saw the seeds of division that would eventually culminate in the split of the United Kingdom after his death. Solomon remains a figure of immense significance, not only in biblical history, but also in the broader tapestry of the ancient Near East. His wisdom, as chronicled in religious texts, his administrative skill, and his architectural achievements mark him as a pivotal figure in the history of ancient Israel. King number three, Humbantara I of Elam, c. 1980 BC. In the shadowed highlands of southwestern Iran, the ancient kingdom of Elam, often overlooked by the annals of more dominant Mesopotamian powers, was under the rule of Humbantara I during the 10th century BC. His reign represented a period of resilience and strategic maneuvering for Elam. Humbantara I's leadership was defined by his efforts to maintain Elamite independence in a region rife with conflict and expansionist ambitions from neighboring empires like Assyria and Babylon. He navigated these geopolitical challenges with a blend of military and diplomatic strategies, ensuring Elam's survival and sovereignty during a turbulent era. Little is known about the specifics of his reign, 
but Humban Tahra, the first role in preserving Elamite culture and identity amidst external pressures, is a testament to his capabilities as a leader. His reign, though not marked by grand monuments or legendary battles, was crucial in maintaining the continuity and distinctiveness of Elamite civilization in the tapestry of ancient history. King number four, Shoshenk I of Egypt, 943-9222 BC. Shoshenk I, emerging as a powerful figure in Egypt during the 10th century BC, marked a resurgence in Egypt's political and cultural life. Originating from the Meshwesh Libyan tribe, he founded the 22nd dynasty, signifying a new era in Egyptian history. His reign is particularly noted for his military campaigns, most notably into the Near East. This venture is believed by some scholars to be chronicled in the Hebrew Bible as Shishak's invasion of the Kingdom of Israel. These campaigns underscored Egypt's regained strength and influence under his rule. Beyond his military exploits, Shoshank I is remembered for his contributions to Egypt's architectural legacy. He initiated significant building projects, including impressive constructions at the Temple of Amun in Karnak. His reign represented a period of stability and renewed architectural activity, leaving a lasting impact on Egypt's cultural landscape. Shoshank I's rule, bridging military prowess with cultural patronage, heralded a period of rejuvenation for Egypt in the midst of the complex and ever-changing dynamics of the ancient Near East. 